girls and I are gonna work on some DIY art for the guest room. So things are starting to arrive that I've ordered. I still don't have the bed. We still don't have the major components, but let me show you what I'm thinking at the moment and kind of the purpose of this DIY art that we're gonna make. All right, we are just playing around in the guest room. I brought the pillows up that I ordered, love them. I'm less sure about this. I do love it, but it, this room still doesn't feel colorful enough for me. Uh, that might change as we add stuff. So the one thing we're gonna be working on is just some DIY art for this wall. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the process. All right, so the first step is I'm actually making this in Cricut Design Space because I'm gonna cut these letters out of vinyl um, put them on the canvas and then paint over it. And so all I've done to make sure I'm getting the right size is I've created the shape behind it, which is 24 by 36 inches, same size as our canvas. And that is how I kind of decided on the size and positioning of the font. So now we're gonna cut it out. All right, so we're about to cut out the vinyl. Since we're, <laughs> this is, since we're gonna be peeling this off, I just picked a color that I don't really like. Um, since a lot of vinyl is gonna get wasted. Anyway, here we go. We're ready. Okay, so we've cut the vinyl out. I have weeded it, which is just means removing all the excess vinyl. And now it is time for me to actually place them on the canvas. I wanted to pause the time lapse to show you that there, I'm having an issue. So this is not a good brand of vinyl. It's not super sticky, so it's having trouble sticking to the canvas. And relative to my transfer tape, which is super sticky, it's just, they're not playing well together. So this is taking a way longer than it should, but I'm gonna power through. Okay. That took longer than it should have, but now that they're all on here, I am gonna use just white paint and I'm gonna paint over them. That way we'll have nice clean lines when we peel them off. So here it goes. All right, Atlee, you ready to do some painting? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so just to re, re summarize what we've done. So we stuck the vinyl on, we painted over that with white. That is now dry and now we have chosen this color, do you like that color? Nope, but I think it will work in the room. So give it a, give it a go, at least start painting. Um, I told her worst case is we paint over it. All right, here's what I've learned so far. This is my first time doing this. Do not, I repeat, do not peel your letters off when the paint is not completely dry and cured. Uh, this is the situation. So I actually think I'm going to try to be patient and let it dry overnight and then attempt it again tomorrow. Oh, now that the paint is fully dry, the letters are coming off cleanly. So relieved. Okay. It's upside down, but I peeled all the letters off and now I'm working on touch up for this disaster that I created. And there was a little bit of bleeding even on some of the other letters, but for the most part, it turned out pretty well. I am just now circling back to that piece of art that my girls and I made for the guest room this weekend that give yourself a break. Um, I'm gonna show you how the touch ups turned out, but more importantly, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to frame a canvas yourself. It's affordable and you don't need power tools. So stay tuned. Okay. So this is how it looks after the touch-ups. It looks really good. It wasn't that hard. If you get really close to the O, you can see where the paint peeled up, but from even a slight distance, it looks great. So now let me show you how I'm going to make the frame. Got these strips of wood. Let's see if I can even tell you what they are. I got them at Lowe's. Um, they're just pine, they're eight feet. Oh, they're lattice 
they're lattice pieces. Um, so they're thin, um, they're about, they're probably, yeah, inch and a half, and that's how thin they are. So I, it is too hot, y'all, so I'm gonna set up the miter saw and cut outside, I'm not doing it. Um, so I'm gonna use my miter box and little hand saw, because I only have, a, I mean, a very few cuts to make. And also, just to show you, you don't need power tools to do this. So here we go. Okay, so all I've done is measure the length and I've marked it and then I've put my wood in. These little pegs help hold it steady. I'm the only one home right now, so I'm not gonna be able to video this, but I'm literally just gonna use my, my strength and I'm gonna cut right through this. Okay, y'all, um, what's coming up is the really cool part, which is how I attach the frame to the canvas. No power tools, you don't need a staple gun, you don't need anything, so keep, keep watching. <laughs> 